Hi everyone, I'm sorry for recording from my mobile phone, but I don't have much time from my studies. So, okay, so uh, the problem here is that uh, Mojave doesn't have uh, back to my Mac anymore, so we cannot screen share uh, from my, for example, MacBook uh, Pro to my iMac which my iMac is on High Sierra and my MacBook Pro is on uh, Mojave. Um, when I go back from campus uh, to my home, I want to con I'm leaving my iMac here and I want to control it from my house. Uh, but it seems not possible. I called um, Apple support and yeah, um, back to my Mac is not available anymore. So they told me to use third party I started to um, search for something useful, and I found what I seem what seems to be the best, the best application, which is Chrome Remote Desktop. So we're going to find, to search it. Um, yep. Yeah, um, sorry, this is in Spanish, but it's just installing an, on Chrome, basically uh, an extension. We'll open this and uh, we will click on this okay so here we have a uh, remote assistance and my computers we are going to start with my computers but as I already have it basically installed on the background um, I'm going to show you but, uh, they will after you uh, you click here it will tell you to download the host for your computer you're going to do this you can do it simultaneously on both of your computers at the same time so you don't waste time like I've already installed it on my MacBook uh, Pro and yeah so after this uh, we will it will we will say we will click on my computers which is what we are going to work with and we will say start and uh, this already has been installed, so um, it will, it's going to step some so to uh, miss some steps that you will have to do, like put yourself your own pin, which I've already done, and you just put a pin code uh, for so nobody can can access except you. So basically, here um, I'm going to uh, I'm going to change uh, Wi-Fi so my MacBook is on different Wi-Fi than than my uh, iMac and we are going to try this so here we have the Mac let's say I want to connect my my Mac so I just put the pin code I I wrote Oops, let's see. Okay, so here we're going to have basically total control of my MacBook. Yeah, um, this is just an example. I'm going to quit. Uh, yeah, so the the way I'm going to use it is the other way around, uh, which is from my MacBook Pro to my to my iMac. So I'm going to show you how to do this. And the best of everything is if you are as in, in campus like in me and you have a Wi-Fi which is um, caped or like you can use P2P or uTorrent or I'm going to show you how to how to do this because it won't connect with uh, like uh, like a, uh, a Wi-Fi which is uh, which is uh, caved and yeah. yeah so give me one second please okay so here I am with my MacBook uh, Pro which is what I'm going to use from my house um, to connect with my iMac and here as I said you can install both uh, remote desktops at the same time and yeah I installed it and here I'm going to connect with my iMac
just to show you how basically it works. Um, the problem about being on a campus is most of the time you are um, your internet is as I said you can't use uTorrent or P2P um, and I'm going to explain you for how to do a VPN network so okay just made this uh, screen size bigger and the good thing is just you can work on your Mac and with your three fingers as you know change screen and I'm on my back on my iMac so yeah that's just basically the demonstration now I'm going to explain you how to create a VPN network so so you can uh, use your campus Wi-Fi Wi-Fi to, to to basically do this because if not if it doesn't tell you if it doesn't connect with it from a different Wi-Fi basically this is going to be the problem I'm going to explain you how to how to solve it give me one second please okay so here I'm back again on my iMac and we are going to uh, use um, VPN for basically being able to uh, do this uh, thing, as, as you can see, I have VPN connected. Um, VPN usually is a paid thing, uh, but I'm going to show you a free way of doing it, basically, which is using hide.me. Uh, hide so we are going to... Um, this now we are going to go to um, let's put it in English so you can understand it so don't download it just uh, sign up uh, re register for free just put your email it will send you a confirmation to your email and then it will tell you how to do it yeah so this will be the setup you just um, put it in English again it will say you to choose your operative system I'm going to choose Mac OS don't download anything you don't need um, it will ask you which type of VPN network or protocol to use. Choose the first one, which is IKEV2. Okay, so here we're going to go to um, our internet preferences. Are we and we are going to add uh, a VPN network, which is over here, and we are going to choose the same type of VPN network, IKEV2. And let's call it um, like my name is Kike. Well, I call it Kike. And yeah, I'm going to choose it, and then we're going to see. You can see the video tutorial explain it. It basically explain it really well. Um, this is what I've been doing. Yeah, creating the the network, the VPN network, and then the authentication setting. So here you're going to use your, uh, let me go back, here you're going to use um, the, first we're going to go to um, uh, adjustments, okay, and we're going to use our username of height, which we have uh, signed in, our name, um, and then are the same password as the hide me um, login let's say we are going to accept it uh, and then we are going to say in any of these images you can use choose server which are the free servers so let me uh, now I'm logged in so I can use the Netherlands uh, the Canada Singapore as I'm in 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 Europe I'm going to use the Netherlands one 
So I'm going to copy and paste this. So Control C or Command C, and um, this we are going to put it over here. And um, remote ID. Let's go again back here. It will, it's really easy to. Yeah, it says put hide me. So let's put hide dot me. And our adjustment to say and basically. Yep, so let me disconnect from this one. And we are going to go back to this one. Yeah, so we don't need to do anything else here. We, we've we done everything over here. As I said, your username and password. And, yep, and we are going to connect. Hello. So I didn't apply this. So yeah, now it's connected. Um, with this, we can uh, use any Wi-Fi, any type of Wi-Fi, like uh, like uh, Starbucks. Um, basically, this is going to make us an anonymous uh, way to connect uh, to the to our our other computer. So yeah, I hope this helps. If there's any question, you can you can uh, go back to me on the comments. Um, yeah, this helped me my problem, which I was five days already searching for, and I hope it helps you too. Thank you very much for watching the video, and see you soon.